No, these tend to be outside. It, it sounds like pretty good weather in Darfur. And so these are outdoor stoves, so we, we cut some breaks. And so we don't have to make them with chimneys, and that saves a lot of money. Anyways, we have a lot of um, small teams working on small scale tech technologies. Um, in particularly impoverished communities where just the very basic engineering principles that we've learned via our experience in the university and then in the workplace could make a huge difference when translated over into their lives. So, you know, just using like a, a sand to filter water, that's extremely low tech, but you have to have some engineering knowledge about what kind of sand and how, how it works to filter water. But ultimately all it is, is filtering water with sand. And that's about as, as low tech as you can possibly get. So, we as engineers need to try and find clever, low tech solutions to meet a lot of problems that they have in the developing world, such as dirty water. So, that's what we're focusing our efforts on, is trying to develop these simple, low tech products that would be usable in the developing world. Expensive, and then trying to ship it all the way around the world to someone in, say, India and trying to get them to use this filter that's not necessarily within their budget, within their means to uh, afford, and that isn't even available locally and has to be shipped long distances. Like a nuclear reactor. And so if they wanted to have lights for doing homework and things like that in the house, charge their cell phone, would we send them a nuclear reactor or what would we do? Well, we could send them a nuclear Thank you, Charlie. <laughs>